This video will show the dentist how to restore a gross carious lesion with light cured composite using the clear custom matrix technique that results in a composite that requires minimal if any finishing and polishing and saves the dentist five to ten minutes of chair time on each composite that is placed. Hard to believe? Just watch. I'm going to show you how to use the clear custom matrix technique to restore a class 5 lesion that started off as a gross carious lesion. And if we're going to be using the clear custom matrix technique, the first step would be to restore this gross carious lesion with red wax, and this would happen after we anesthetize the patient and while we're waiting for anesthesia. So no, no chair time is lost. Now restore this lesion with wax is actually a fairly simple thing to do. Take wax on any instrument, and most of the restoration of this surface is done with our finger, our gloved finger. Notice how smooth we can make this red wax by just burnishing this surface. We can fill in this defect, and then we're going to take any instrument and scrape away the excess. And notice as I slide my finger across this wax how smooth it gets. And we can now, we're very close to where we want to take an impression of this surface with a clear bite registration material. And I'm going to try to show you how smooth this red wax is. Now, if we can take an impression of this surface and then restore that with composite later on to the same smoothness, we will have saved a lot of finishing and shaping time. Let me show you how we do that. While waiting for anesthesia, we're going to take an impression of this restored surface with red wax with a clear bright registration material. I'm using a material that sets relatively quickly within about a minute in the mouth. Outside of the mouth it'll take a little bit longer as this demonstration will show. But I'll get a chance to show you what a clear custom matrix looks like. So I'm going to inject this clear material onto the gingiva and onto the tooth. And I also want to get the incisal edge which will act as indexing for this custom matrix. Now this is going to set up in the mouth as I mentioned in about a minute or 45 seconds depending on how fast the material, a bite registration material you get. Outside of the mouth it's going to take longer so we're going to wait a minute or two while this sets up and then I'll show you what it looks like. The custom matrix material is set now, and it comes right off. It's just a polyvinyl siloxane impression. And this is what it looks like. Now, it doesn't look like much, but there's a tremendous amount of surface detail information trapped in this very accurate impression. I will try to show this to you in close-up. Now you can see what looks to be a bubble in this. This is actually inside the material. So it's not going to affect the surface detail of this. And this will fit like a glove back onto the tooth and reform the composite in the exact relationship and curvature that we had the red wax. We've now cut our cavity preparation. In actuality, it'd probably be much larger than this, but uh, these are already cut in teeth that I use for my 
hands-on workshop, so we'll use this. This is a shallow preparation, so we only need one increment of composite. And the trick here is just to place a slight excess. And to be quite frank with you, the smaller the preparation, the more difficult it is only to add a slight excess. We have way more material than we need here for this technique. So I'm going to try to get rid of some of this. You still want to condense it to make certain that it's has no voids. Now we're going to take the clear custom matrix that we made previously, fit it back on the tooth, and put pressure on it with our finger. And if you could see my thumbnail, it's blanching right now. I put about five pounds of pressure on this for five to ten seconds. And then I'm going to light cure through it using a light guide. So this will save us a lot of shaping, finishing, and adjusting of the composite. And the proof of the pudding is right now. When we take this off and we take a look at The composite. Now we see some flash there, but let's actually probe that. This flash is going to be very thin, and if we didn't etch much beyond our margins, which is the recommendation for any composite, this flash will easily come off the tooth. Look at our margins here. We have a little bit of a catch here. Hardly any catch there. Hardly any catch there. Imagine if after light curing your composite was as smooth as this with the margins that look like that. Now this is going to take a little finishing. I'd probably take 7901 carbide finishing burr, 12 fluted, and lightly go around the margins in those areas where I'm getting a little catch. And that would be the extent of the finishing that this composite needs.